Hi everyone, it's Lulu. And this is a pre and post Christmas haul. Some for me, a lot for the house. And uh, I'm gonna give you a, in just a second, I'm gonna give you a wide sweep of the area I have everything. It's not gonna, it's mostly bags, so I'll take everything out of the bag. I'm gonna talk fast. I never link anything. I rarely know prices. And most of this you will not be able to get because it's the after Christmas 75% off Christmas decoration sale. Uh, but maybe you'll get some ideas for next year or maybe if you happen to be in the stores and something's lost, you might go, oh yeah. This is my pre and post Christmas haul. Boy, I'm gonna talk fast. Maybe not do a whole lot of explaining along the way, but this is it pretty much raw. I'm just grabbing bags, boxes, whatever I have. Gonna show you and gonna move on. Um, mixing it all up. I had wanted the Dominique, what, she's, a, she's a YouTuber. Chris, I think Chris, Dominique, Chris, Chris something, I don't know, Kristen Dominique, I think Dominique is maybe her last name or her second name. And this is the Latte palette. Sold out. I, I waited too long, sold out, couldn't find it anywhere, couldn't find it anywhere, secondary market. But I found it at Beauty Bay in, out of England. And I ordered it because I just wanted, and it wasn't that much more expensive, shipping was great. And if you're not aware of the color scheme, it's very neutral with a little couple of pops of color. Bottom row is all shimmery, top row is all matte. Penn Smith Skincare, I think that's her name. I will link her channel below. Always talks about Lumify eye drops. I have to say, I've tried them now three times in one eye to see if I could see a difference, and I don't. I may not have an issue with redness. I don't know, maybe that's just not my thing. But uh, bought it, I do remember from Amazon. So I bought that. And then, <laughs> Nicole Guerrero did this incredible holiday, over-the-top makeup, almost uh, artistic. She, she drew a string of lights, Christmas lights, and then she filled in the bulbs. And I was like, I'm going to do that just for shock value. Of course, I didn't. But I had to order actual color art makeup. I don't know what it's called. I think I got this from Amazon, too. And the box. Celebrity. So I got that. <laughs> Clearly it's unused. All right. This is for the dogs. I have an English Bulldog Lucy and I have a Banks who is half English Bulldog, half Boston Terrier. Their, their chests, as you can picture, are very wide. It is so hard to find a harness to walk them. And harnesses are more secure. They don't tug on their neck if they kind of are pushing on you a little bit. And um, can this go any lower? No. And it's hard, so it's, it's, you buy them too big, then you can't adjust them right. So I've been seeing these infomercials on Instagram or Facebook or something, and the other issue is getting them on. You're like, you kind of like, you have to, like, is this physics? What is this? Where does, even though you do this almost every day, it's like, wait, why is his paw not secure? And Lucy, oh, she's a maniac. So this is the Pug Life Harness. I don't, I, this is the front, so this goes under their chest, their head is here, this is their chest, and then this buckles, oh, I can't, anyway, buckles under here, you can watch it, it's a miracle, I wanted, I was running through Walmart for after Christmas stuff, and blah, 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 and I found this really thin, 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 like, not t-shirt thin, Certainly not sweatshirt. I'm always warm. I wear t-shirts all year long. But I wanted something that was kind of loose with a long sleeve. Let me think. Can I? Let me see if I can. That's as far as it'll go. And it has a hood. It's very nice. I got a, I upsized and made it nice and loose. The arms are loose so they're not making me sweaty. Some of you on my Facebook group, yes, please join my Facebook group book. It, Facebook group. It's so much fun. We talk about everything. Andrew. Yes, we, Andrew's the king. That would be Andrew. It just we talk about makeup. Yes, but we talk about house stuff. We talk about shopping. We talk about cars. We talk about family. We talk about 
everything just like crazy how do you get the sheet corners to stay down it is the most fun fascinating how I can show this because you can't I don't know if you can see the crossover but this is from Nordstrom let me see if I stand up and see it crosses over it, it doesn't show anything when you have it on it kind of fills out and the bottom is just is more snug I would say you know it's see but there's the crossover so the bottom is so cute again a very very thin knit it looks chunky but it's very very light love that got that on sale they started their half annual sale or something okay here we go I'm just gonna start grabbing out of boxes oh Target had the carrot cleaner and two filters on sale for like some crazy price it was $18 and now it was $5.98 and this carrot cleaner is expensive by itself plus I got two filters I was so excited so got that then um, I needed new slippers so I got new slippers this is also Target maybe there's a price on here $19.99 I probably could have got them for half price at Walmart but I had already been to Walmart so just fluffy slippers okay oh, and then oh yeah Target I also got this top at Target it just spoke my name anything black and white stripes speaks my name I have to get up again it's it's a short sleeve kind of not elbow length I don't think probably like I'm wearing now but very slinky t-shirt e material has a relatively low I think scoop in the front but it's not too long I do not like long t-shirts so very excited this was $12.99 that's Target and the brand is up up and away or something what's that called that brand Andy away a new day <laughs> It's a little, you see, like, I don't know, Andy, no, not Andy, a new day. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so that's one bag empty. Amazon, I bought curtain lights. I bought, um, there they go, that's a picture, curtain lights. I might use it behind me for filming. I always love when people have, like, lights in their literally in their sheer curtains behind them and I also have a giant window here where the dogs can't get to and I thought that would be pretty next year and you hang them with the command little things which probably I don't have here so I bought them and I bought two thinking one might be Christmas one might be for filming and what the heck are these oh oh and these are the same thing but stars a curtain string of stars. There's no picture of it. That's the one I was thinking maybe behind my, so there wouldn't be too much light. So that was Amazon. And I bought tea light, um, tea lights from Amazon. The tea lights stay on all day. I not stay on all day. I don't know. But the the flameless tea light candles. So that'll be. Do they come with batteries? Probably not. Well, they do. Okay. I didn't bring it out here, but if you have dogs, you know how they sell holiday dog treats, dog stockings, dog this. Again, it might be too late, but all the stores had quite a bit because I think most people don't think about that being half off. But oh my gosh, I got these ginormous 15-inch candy cane rawhides, and some people don't give their dogs rawhides. I get it. I get it. But Target also had organic holiday treats like gingerbread or what was the other flavor? I don't remember. Holiday or not, it's a great time. Many of them put their, um, you know, their cords on sale, and this is a triple socket. So that was a wonderful thing. Got that on sale. That's one bag. Another bag. This is, oh, more clothes. I don't remember buying this. Oh, I guess I did. Oh, that's right. It's a, who's it? This is Target. This, Prologue is the brand. It's hard to describe this. It's a very boxy, loose, black t-shirt. It's almost dressy. The material is silky, slinky, slinky, silky t-shirt. 
you know, I don't know what does that, nylon or, but it's, you know, and I like square bottom. I like flat bottoms. I don't like rounded bottoms and I don't like high low bottoms. And dressy like I have dressy places to go. Okay, this is, oh, this is all me. This is Target, so this is normal. Sunglasses. <laughs> I love these. How much were they? $16.99. To me, that's a deal. $16.99. And they're by that A New Day. Now that I know how to say that. Bought on clearance for $348. Echo Tools. What the heck is it called? Best with concealers or eyeshadows for blurring and softening. I would like to figure out how to use a brush. Wish I could take this out. I would like to figure out how to get a brush to work on my concealer because I, rather than sponges and things, and I felt this because they have like exam samples, and it's very, see, it's very. It's not stiff, so I thought, well, that's good, so I don't have to be pulling and tugging. And I also bought one by Sonia Kashuk. And what is this called? Buffing Concealer Brush. And, well, it's very similar. It's very similar. It's probably, maybe the head is, I'm looking at them. No, it's very similar. This one might be more slanted than this one. Um, I, again, trying to keep this short. I'm not going to open it. So those two. They had this on sale for $5.08, but I just saw that it's on sale at Ulta for $3. So I'm going to use this, see if I like it. It's a hairspray that is supposed to add shine. It's by Bedhead, and it's called Mini Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray. Don't they get you with these marketing words? But it's by Bedhead, and it's called Massive Shine. I ran out of my 100% acetone, so had to replenish that. And... Oh, I do essential oils like every night. Every night I do I do lavender. I do and I do the good lavender. I do either well mostly young living. I think there's just no I, I haven't tried the what's the other big brand that is sold through people? Terra, Doterra? But I've tried more and there's another brand that I can't think and again they're very they're privately owned. But so I but so oh well, I tried this Ylang Ylang and Lavender, so it's a blend. I did Bad Fit Fun for the first time ever. It, I had a big coupon, I don't know, what is big, maybe 10, whatever, free shipping. I thought, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it once. Um, I am wearing, this is kind of, do you know her? She's sold pretty much like at Nordstrom, maybe Neiman's, I'm not sure. But this is kind of her, I believe this is her signature pendant. It is not sterling, it is just base metal, whatever. And I'm wearing it today only so that I could show you, but this was, to me, worth the box alone, just to have this. And then they gave a uh, jade roller, which is nice. I was just looking at them at Sally's. So that saved me a trip. Nice, the regular size of the uh, Moroccan Gold Series, the treatment mask. This is a nice size mask by Ahava, and it's a <coughs> hydrating mask. And this time of year, that always comes in. Did I have the light up too high? Um, these, this is an eye mask, hyaluronic acid. It's by Black, B-L-A-Q. And how many does it say? Five. So five times. I'm beginning to like those eye patches more and more. Thrive Cosmetics, you know, they give part of their money, part of their profit, something, not all of it, but just a part of it to charity. And this is the Brilliant Eye Lightener. And it, it's like a shadow stick, so I'm not, and it's got the tiniest bit of shimmer to it. So I don't know if this is meant for the waterline or if it's meant, and you could use it, I suppose, any way you want. You probably could use it as a cream concealer, a uh, cream highlighter. It's a nice pale champagne-y color. So that's nice. This I won't use at all. It's Bite Beauty. I know people love Bite Beauty. I'm, eh, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's fine. I think if I were going to spend that money, how much is it, 17, 18, 20, or two? I'd rather get an Urban Decay or or I don't know it's just it, it's not I have probably 
eight or nine, and then I said, that's it. And this is in meringue, which is a um, casket color, if you ask me. What do they call it? Mannequin color? Ugh. So if you were that color, think again. And a really nice soft throw. I mean, it's very soft. It's a knit, and it's a very, very soft. All right. Oh, I don't want this to be long. I'm going to start getting faster. All right, next year, I want my tree to be copper. I want it to be like coppers, browns, purples. I didn't decorate my tree. I put the tree up. That's progress. But I want copper. So the first thing I had to do was find ribbon. And I found, let's see, this one's undone. I don't know if it'll show as copper, but I'm going to use this as garland. Yeah, I think it's showing the copper. The, the, there's a mist of copper, very tiny micro glitter. This is a copper, and this is a burnished gold. So I got rolls of this, and I got another one, too, that I found. So I got four of these, and then I got kind of, I guess you would call this rose gold ornaments. I have no idea where I'm going to start putting all this. And then these are burnished gold. Again, not bright. They look almost coppery, but they're not. They're burnished. These are glass. Burnished gold, so that's pretty. And I think that's it for that bag. Oh, good. All right, next is behind me. Oh, got like, I don't know, just kind of placed them in the tree. They're kind of a champagne rose gold chipped. Got two of those. Got. I might have a tree downstairs that's going to be more woodsy, more, and this is, again, a garland that has been, do you see, it looks like bark, kind of, sort of, so I got two rolls of those for a different tree, or maybe I'll make tabletop, I don't know, they, they were, I just thought that was so unique, um, bunch of picks, and this is Joanne's, light bulbs, bunch of picks, perfect color to go with the copper. And then, I don't know, I kind of, am, well, I, I want something bright on the tree, so every here and there I'm going to throw a pick in of one of these. And if not, I don't know, I'll figure something else. So that's that bad. I'm going to need some Christmas trees. I really overbought. This is, oh, a Santa cap for um, Vito's granite box. I'm going to put it on him next year. I keep thinking if I get him mad enough about something, he'll come back and visit me. Psychology hasn't worked yet, but hey, it can't. All right, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about this. This is one of those fur, not fur, you know, fluffy vests, just, um, has a collar, it's so hard to see in this. Bought three of these. These are um, upside down. They're branches and they have white, like they're a white uh, river birch, is that the white tree? But white-ish branches and then the lights. And they have, they are, I believe, three feet plastic ornaments, but they have copper and they have a plum. It looks charcoal gray, so copper, definitely copper, rose gold, and an interesting accent of this green. So we shall see. I thought that was kind of interesting. I bought, oh, I bought an eyelet skirt for my bed. And more ornaments. These are ginormous copper ornaments. They're big. It's in my head. So both shiny and matte. Yeah, the tree's going to be overly copper. And then these are a matte champagne gold. Pretty, pretty. Okay, that took care of that. Oh, no, there's something else in this bag. So I'm accenting like with purple or plum. Hard to find plum, easier to find purple. 
So this little icicles and little, I don't know, just fire, just things. And then these are little icicles, so that's good. They are gorgeous. Did I get two? Darn, I only got one of those. Poop. Hicks. And these are like a rose gold. I don't know if they'll come across as rose gold. And I got, I don't know, probably put anything else in here. Oh, and then this is a smaller pick. I don't know how many of these I got. There's probably a dozen in all, maybe in here, with between all three. Oh, look at this copper, little acorn. I wish I could have found more. It's just one ornament. So cute. And it's just silver, but it's the cutest angel. I don't like angels that have actual faces, because, you know, you don't like the lips, you don't like the eyes. Somebody drew it crooked, the machine didn't work, but this is just a silver metal. Oh, cute. Cute, cute. So this is another, like, I just have too many ornaments, because I keep going from store to store. These are copper, and some are plum, some are a deep copper. Fun. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know about a tree tropper. They only had one of these. It may land up somewhere else. Like it might be somewhere else in the house to just accent it. Or this might be on the, it's a very, very deep, 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 deep rose gold bordering copper. Could be copper, but it's a giant pick and they only had one. So this may be spread out at near the top of the, you know, just near the top of the tree. A bunch of these presents, picks, and a bunch of, this is Target, um, some of these, and finally, these are rose gold, coppery little baubles on them. The light is too bright to see that, but these are picks as well. These are... It's hard to tell, but they are a coppery kind of, they're a deeper copper, these lines. And these are big. And then these are a more of a deep rose gold. And they're kind of, they're textury. <laughs> Again, big. These are ceramic. And there are three trees. I might have to take this one out. If you went to Kirkland's, you probably saw them. But they are so pretty. There's one. There's two. And if you watch my decorating Christmas thing, I have this thing with red and white reindeer on my, I don't know what you call it. Look at this. And this is just going to go so cute with them. So, yes, very excited about that. Um, gee, I'm excited about everything. For that woodland tree I was talking, I might do this is a tree chopper. A candle that I just whew, loved the smell of cranberry patchouli. I. It was the only one I would have bought every single one they had. This was at Target. It was a Christmas item. I was almost hoping it wasn't so that I could continue to buy them. Oh, you love it. And then I got two giant bins, plastic bins. They were a good price you know, for storage. More, oh, a purple, <laughs> a purple bird. And this cute to clip on the tree. They only had one left. And then um, these, you can't, they look, do they look plum? They're very plum. Plum shoes. <laughs> these, this is two ornaments. But, you know, shoes, right? And plum, I think it's coming across as brown. But plum snowflakes to hang. 
Yeah, I'm going to need about seven trees. <clears throat> These are so pretty, and they're glass. No, they're not glass, they're plastic. Just all kinds of those deep colors. Again, I thought woodland tree or some on this tree. And these are a rose gold. Oh my gosh, like I could have a whole tree of this. Plummy, pinky ornaments. Two of those. I'm going to put this up all year long. It's a wall sticker, wall decor. Because I love snow. I love snow. I would like snow 365 days a year. I can't stand heat. So there's a wall that I have that is going downstairs, and I think I'm going to put it there. I just yes. um, got a bunch of these in copper. It were 50 cents a piece. And then also these are like in a plum. They look reddish, but they're definitely plum, 50 cents. And, oh, she's not done with ornaments. You know, I like a very full tree. But, salt and pepper shakers. A little, you know, the little red truck, kind of, and then a house. So those are salt and pepper shakers. For the dogs, got a bunch of these for the dogs. All right, this is a, it looks deep purple, but it is a bright pinky purple. It's my little Christmas tree. It comes pretty lit. Look, even the wire is pink. Can you see that? The lights are white. And it's an aluminum tree. Here, should we do a zoom by? It's going to go in my bathroom, I think. I just love this tree. Oh, my gosh. Then, oh, I wish I could show this to you like in one fell swoop. I got two of these to hang from the lights on the garage. You know, most garages have lights on the two sides of the garage door. And... I bought this thinking I would hang them. I might need some wire or string, but they do have a hooky thing here. They're metal, as you can hear, so they have a hooky thing. And his nose is three dimensional. This is three dimensional. His, like, his scarf is three dimensional. Maybe lantern is three dimensional. There's his bottom. Isn't he the, and I got two of them to hang from each light fixture. Isn't he cute? Oh, geez, what am I gonna do with you now, honey? I got six of these ginormous pine cones, six of them. Two of these dragonfly, copper and burnished gold. Like, it was just amazing. I got two of them. Two of these birds in a rose gold, burnished gold. I really swear we are almost done. I have no idea why antlers are so popular, but I found one in a coppery kind of color, burnished gold. I bought one. I have no idea why those are so popular. Here is the other ribbon I found. Again, the edges are definite copper. And, yeah, I know that you can see that. And all sprinkled throughout is a fine, fine mist of copper glitter. Micro mist. It's just wine glitter. I love the shape of this to drink wine. They got these at Hobby Lobby. I do not believe they're part of Christmas. The shower thing is always on sale at Hobby Lobby. But those are gold. They had all kinds of little gold stripes, gold this, gold that. And... Finally, this is dazzled. It's a fabric mesh garland, and you can see the copper running through it. So I have several choices. Like I might 
make big bows out of these or little bows and put them on the tree or I might use it to wrap the bottom and the skirt because this they didn't have enough of this I only was able to get two to actually be a really fat garland but again if my tree is copper I can use this to kind of embellish around like the chairs actually darn it maybe they'll have this next year in this color I would love to put it around each chair back in the front in the dining room and make a big bow but it's only 30 I think it's only 30 inches nine feet oh no nine feet I maybe this will be enough for all the chairs I think that's all. <laughs> I think that's all. Thank you for hanging in. This had to be a really whopper of a video. Um, thank you for hanging in and have a great new year. Uh, again, sorry for looking in the viewfinder as I'm showing things to make sure it's in frame. But right now, I'm just talking to you. So I hope the new year is good. <laughs>